Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to take a look at the new T-Motor F4 flight controller and F55A Pro 2 4-in-1 ESC stack. This is a box of the T-Motor F4 flight controller and the F55A Pro 2 4-in-1 ESC. This box contains all the parts and even more than we need for building the T-Motor FC and 4-in-1 ESC stack. Once we have opened the box, we first will find some T-Motor stickers and the quality pass. And here we have the F55A Pro 2 4-in-1 ESC. This is a BL Healy 32 ESC which is rated for up to 6S batteries and a current of 55 amps. And it can even handle a peak current of up to 75 amps. The F55A Pro 2 4-in-1 ESC can easily be connected by a 10-pin silicon cord to the T-Motor F4 flight controller. Unfortunately, there are no alternative solder pads for the connection to the FC. If T-Motor is listening, please add additional solder pads for the FC connection to your 4-in-1 ESCs in the future. It would just offer more possibilities for using these ESCs in combination with different flight controllers. Next, we find the T-Motor F4 flight controller in the box. It also comes with a small plate to protect the FC and for mounting further hardware on top of the stack. This FC comes with a F4 processor and a pretty clear pin layout. At the back we can also find the 10 pin connector. At this point I don't understand why we have the connector at the back while it is at the front of the 4-in-1 ESC. So we have to lead the connector cord through the stack. It's no big deal but I would prefer a connector at the front of the FC. But of course we also can easily rotate the FC to get the connector to the front. But then I have to lead the camera wires over or under the stack. Next we find four 30mm screws for the stack into the box of the T-Motor F4 and F55A Pro 2. We also find soft mounts and spacer for the stack and even T-Motor race wire boards for extending the motor wires. We also get two 10 pin connector cords, an XT60 battery wire and a capacitor. And here we have the finished stack. We are getting all the parts we need for building the stack. And this is pretty cool, we don't need to buy extra standoffs or wires. We even get the T-Motor race wires and the top plate to mount additional hardware like a VTX or receiver onto the stack. I'm pretty impressed about the T-Motor stack and I'm planning on using it on a new quadcopter build. What do you think about the T-Motor F4 and F55A Pro 2 4 one ESC? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.